if it's an old testimony. He's coming. Where, where is him? I, I'm sorry, brethren, guests and invitees. I'm very sorry that I had to go this way. That's him. That's him. It was yesterday I was shocked because we've been mentioning his case and it looked like uh, it's a tail from the moon. And he saw me and said, Pastor Sam, I am that boy that had an animal tail and animal face. And I shook and I started waving to God of choosing. Even yesterday, Pastor mentioned his case again. I don't know if you remember. That's the boy. Can he say praise the Lord to the congregation? Choose him. Praise the Lord. Choose him. Praise Almighty Jesus. Bless us, Yahweh. Praise the Lord. Choose him, generation. Praise the Lord. Oh, this God of choosing is so great. Hey! I fear this God of choosing. If it's not because of this God of choosing, I will not be alive. Oh God of my pastor. That... <laughs> because uh, these are tears of joy and they are allowed. They are allowed any day, any time. This God of choosing is so great. By the time and my mommy gave birth to me, <laughs> she was telling me all this story. I'll be crying and weeping. <laughs> she told me that if I, that she bore me, I turned to animal. My face jammed out. Um, this is my front turned to back. My, my back turned to front. And I have long day. It's even this, even nobody can even come and visit us. Anybody that wants to come and greet us, they will stand far and come and greet me because of they are afraid. My daddy who came to took me in their shot, said I want to kill me. He said I'm not a real man. Be. He should go and bury me. My mommy was saying that because of she said, choose it, not just leave me alone. My daddy said, I know that you dig grave and bury me. When they dig that grave, my mommy was saying that if you bury me, what you see, you should take it. Then I leave my mommy alone. All the old elders, they came from Ibo State and took us to my mommy's place to come and bury me. They said, I am dead. All the hospital, they are saying that I will not be alive. But it's just because of my pastor. This God of choosing. This evil be choosing. God of choosing. Hey! Hey! Where, where is your mother? Where is your mother? She's here. She, your mother is there. Okay, let her give the testimony in full. Let her give her the testimony again. You know, we've been mentioning this case and somehow. Some people might begin to say, oh, this thing they're saying three, four years now, five years. Where is it? But God brought it back again by himself. Let's hear the testimony afresh. Chosen people, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Asena Chikezia. I reside at Mopo 20 Barracks, Ikeja. I joined this great movement the year 2003. I thank God for making me a choosing. Thank you, Father. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This whole matter, was, the testimony we are hearing today, happened in 2015. Hmm. But I took in of him 2004. That 2004, once I was six months, I started having contraction, ceaseless. And before this time, the God and my pastor have already builded my faith. I was like, not, I, I was not afraid of anything. So when they, I go to hospital, they told me that they don't really understand the issue. Not knowing that there was a kind of cause laid in my husband's family, none of them will have a male child. And I happen to be the one that God used to break that yoke. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when he came to that moment that I was having this contraction, I could not fear 
I know the God I'm serving. My pastor said that we will not have a seabed. Giving us the quotation of the Bible that confirmed that word. When I got to that level, in fact, I was really totally, completely built up with faith. 2015, the day I was to go to hospital, I discovered it was no moving in my womb. The first day, second day, the third day, he died in my womb. Hmm. I never checked. I went to the hospital the third day. They told me that the, the, the baby in our womb is dead. We want to save your life by giving you CS. I said, not me. That I have covenant with the God of the chosen. That none of us will pass through CS. And as I'm standing, they will stay in that place. I will never pass through CS. The baby they are talking about is alive. That is only sleeping. Besides, before this time, God of chosen have used one of sisters to tell me that the God named him in my womb, God's gift. Hmm. So with that, I have no fear at all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when I get to that hospital, they were saying that they were like, Madam, please keep quiet. What are you talking here? Many women have been coming with stories at the end of the day, they died. I said they are they are that is their own. I have I'm a different person. My name is a different I'm from chosen. So hmm. nothing of such will happen. They argue until God proved himself, brethren. A sister came, God used her. Because 29 doctors were on me. They have deliberated to go on with the operation. My husband said, go ahead and do the operation. That she's so stubborn. But I know that my stubbornness is because I have God. They finally agreed on that. But God delivered me that same day without that CS. Though the baby came out lifeless. I was, I now remember that his name was God's gift. The moment I mentioned the name, he came back to life. Hey! Ah, they were a kind of shaking, you know, the doctors. They came back, was like, is it true? That woman delivered no man and the child is alive. The hospital was like so moved with this miracle of having returned back to life and me coming out without CS because he was 4.8. In size of that day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Devil saw he returned life in that they could not rest. Before he knew it, this boy was passing his fuses from his mouth. Hmm. Mixed up with fresh blood. What is happening? They run up and down. No way. Only for this to become our say that this particular child has a complicated issue. They don't even know where this problem is coming from. He is coming out, passing fuses from his mouth, mixed with fresh blood. They say it could be different. They go everywhere for x-ray. They couldn't see, scan, tests, nothing. So the letter came up and said that he had joined this, which they asked me to agree that I should allow him to be changed, that his blood should be, they should give him blood transfusion, which they did after four days of him, three days of his life. Seven days they observe us, we return home. It's as if they will say that is just the beginning of the story. We reach home now in that seven days. This seven years, seven days old boy was vomiting as in, as if when you, you know, pound on your fell on the pillow, it will be jumping up. We couldn't sleep at home. We returned back to hospital. From that day, 23 months, brethren, this boy returned. We saw he dried up, tangled, tail. He returned to completely animal. Nobody comes to me again. Hmm. I was left alone. My husband did not allow me to come to church. My choosing people, if they come here and pray, they come and tell me that God said this child will not die. That He said the baby will sick. They don't know the level of the sickness, but he will not die. I stood on that. But from one hospital to another, they are carrying us from one hospital to another. Then God dropped a song in my heart. God of choosing, moving just like a magnet. The way he's dropping that song, I couldn't sing. I like God of choosing, moving just like a magnet. He's moving there. In your brain is moving all over in your body. The God of choosing, moving just like a magnet. So this is how it has started. At the end of the day, when we went to loot, they carried out CS, the operation on him. They discovered his intestines were squeezed, which they lose. By this time, it's no longer human being. Mind you, my husband already gave him an injection to die. That he should die. But when they did that operation, one day I came here, my daddy now said, that child that was turned to animal, hmm. he said, now, if I'm serving the living God, that same child, he, I command the arrow to return back to sender. 
I command you to come back to normal human being. It wasn't all about the operation, brethren. Because he was still carrying the animal tail. He was still looking, no, fearful, scary, monster. What do I call him? I was left alone, but God delivered him that day. When we get home, I couldn't see the tail. Don't forget, Daddy always speak this prayer. He said, I pray for recreation. I was like, what kind of recreation is that? It happened when I saw it in this child. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God of choosing for having done this miracle in my life. Hmm. That this child today, they don't believe my family or my, in fact, in, even my barrack, they don't believe that this child is alive. Hmm. If they see him today, they'll be like asking, is it true? This is the Lord Church and Jesus is Lord. This is the church God established by his power. This is the church God has built it and the gates of hell shall not prevail. This is the Lord Church and Jesus is Lord. I am still to ask you Maybe for emphasis. Maybe for the confirmation. You said when the pastor gave that word of knowledge that if that child that was turned to animal, now if I'm serving a living God, let that arrow go back to stand. Is that what you said? Exactly, sir. What happened after that point, after that moment? The tail, after that statement that daddy met, mm. I. I know exactly, I know that he's the child he's talking about. But I don't know that when that she told someone with him, but when I get home, I couldn't see the tail again. Hey! So he dropped off immediately when the pastor mentioned the power. Yes, daddy. And from that time, he turned and became a normal human being. Yes, sir. He started rebuilding. Every day I wake up, I see different things in him. Before I know it, he has become a normal human being again. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! And where is he now? In what class is he now in school? Yes, sir. In what class? You mean, okay, he's in JS1. He's in JS1 yes, now. Yes, sir. They have promoted them now to, to JS2. Yes, sir. Brethren, chosen people, you are hearing it fresh and live. The acts of God of choosing. Can we give him a large, big, massive clap offering? I appreciate this great God. Clap unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for this program. Thank you for the enemy submitted program. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Fresh and new testimony. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, this God deserves heavenly clapping. I want to join them. I want to join them in clapping afresh to the mighty God of choosing. The God of the pastor of chosen. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God of choosing. Praise the Lord. We have the confidence to tell you no matter the case you have, no matter the number of years, no matter how long you have followed your generation, as our pastor ministers today, that enemy will submit finally in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. 